morning everyone you um you join me here driving little of love that i haven't driven in quite a while um i've got a full day with little of love today uh, and i'm actually going to show you how i work out my brakes and stuff like that because it don't actually tell me on my dash because it's paper so um yeah i'm going to show you how i work that all out and write it all down so i know i'm running legal but we are just heading towards northampton um i've got 15 i think to pick up from northampton to take to bedford and then i've got two pickups to spalding uh, for the afternoon so we'll just get going film getting here uh, was in a bit of a rush because I took the wrong junction off the motorway was in a mind of my own um, but I did make it a lot easier for myself and it came from that way which meant it was a lot easier to reverse in um, so I might actually do that again next time I come I thought that was quite a good idea that well when I got here but I have got 15 on. Um, we've done a six, five and a four. There we go, let's go. Uh, loaded really well. I literally was here five minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes. That's it. So yeah, um, we are now on to Bedford. Um, I've had quite a few comments in my videos. Um, I, do, I do read them and I do reply to some, um, but I try and like say, answers on videos um a lot of people have asked and have actually asked dad while he sees them um why i don't put sawdust down for cattle but i put sawdust down for sheep now the reason why i do this is the sheep can sit down cattle don't sit down they stand the whole journey um sheep if they are tired they do sit down um and if you put sawdust down it just gives them a little bit more to sit rather than sitting in their own piss and poo sort of thing um, so it just keeps them cleaner um, but yeah that's the reason why I put sawdust down and some of you have said that you want to see more like driving so like in between journeys um, I can do that uh, but uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say half the time um, so yeah I will try and do that but uh, we are just coming through uh, a village and um, obviously some people that watch my videos will know where I am. Some people that watch my videos will not know where I am. Um, I don't say where I'm exactly going, like I'll say Northampton or Market Harbour or places like that. Um, but I won't say the exact village where I'm going or um, I won't directly take you straight to said farm. Uh, because obviously that's that's private um, I don't want people rocking up at people's farm sort of thing so um, yeah but we are just coming through this village I'm now rambling on like normal um, and we are now heading to Bedford I find this bridge quite annoying because you can't actually see what's coming and what's not we're just gonna go for it. There we go. Whee. I actually did my uh, HGV test round here. <laughs> I did my HGV round Northampton seven years ago. Seven, six, six or seven, I don't know. Seems like quite a while ago. But anyway, we're going to head for the M1 for Bedford. Can 
we just appreciate how nice this morning is? I know red sky at night, shepherds, no, that's night, Becky, it's morning. Red sky in the morning, shepherds warning and all, but it's a really nice morning. And I can hear something squealing and it's really annoying me in this lorry. I don't, I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, it's because the window is down. <laughs> Oh, I do abuse myself. Look, right, this doesn't happen very often. Little Ob Lob's going for the big overtake. There we go, thank you car. Thank you as well, you flashed me out. Thank you mate. Look at this, well done Little Ob Lob. You do me proud sometimes. We only sit at uh, 54 miles an hour. Ah, oh, he's doing 53. I can see it on his dash. <laughs> Whee! Oh, it's 60. Well, we're not getting up to 60, are we, little love, love? No. We can only dream of that speed. Oh, he's not very nice. He didn't say, flash me in. Oh, I'm not going to say thank you to him. Poo you. I was just about to say that little Laurie was on a roll today and she's overtaken like five lorries on the M1 already, but he's just put his foot down. <laughs> and I am getting off at the next junction, so there's no point in even trying. Poor little love love. Oh no. Oh, the stranded vehicle was back there. So, um, there is actually a stranded vehicle. So. Apparently, if you go under a red X, why are you going in there? You can't go in there, it's a red X. So every time you go under a red X, that's a hundred pound fine. Um, obviously if there's a camera. But police can be quite sneaky and hide in the traffic and then they'll get you when you go under a red X. So, what I suggest is to actually, see like this prick, he won't, he went through a red X. Um, what I suggest is actually read the road signs and don't go through a red X because you can cause a massive, massive accident. Just been now. But um, there is another stranded vehicle up there that we're all swerving around. <sighs> Let's go back in this lane because we're getting off. So I'm just about to come off the 421, uh, Bedford, I'm about two minutes away. My neck really hurts today and I don't know why. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that didn't take me too long at all, uh, less than an hour, which is good. Pull off here. This roundabout can be quite annoying to get off. Well, to get on, sorry. Get off, I'm not even on the roundabout yet. Steady to the roundabout. Don't want to slam on our brakes because obviously I don't want the cattle in the cab with me. Oh, look at that. That was quite good. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Right. Let's go and get these unloaded.
there you've got competition. <laughs> Chief editor's got competition! <laughs> So now I'm going to have a break. I've written down on a piece of paper uh, that I stop the lorry at 8.32 because it automatically goes on to break. So yeah, I'll stop the lorry at 8.32. So um, I'm going to go for a break now. And then we'll carry on. Then I've got to wash out. But um, it's okay because there's another lorry here and I've got to wait for him to finish washing out. So that makes it easier to have my break. So um, I'll have my break and then I'll start washing out because you can't do two things at the same time because that is classed as other work if I start washing out while I'm on a break. So I am currently washing out. Finish my break. <laughs> to the 421 this time we're heading for the a1 because i'll jump on the a14 um i've now got two pickups to spalding uh one's towards lutterworth um but this side of lutterworth um hence why i'm going up the a14 and the other is um just off the a14 um but i'll start with the furthest one away first um and then come to the closest one just because that's like common sense. There's no point loading up your closest one and then going to the furthest one and then going back past the first place you picked up. So yeah. Um, didn't take long to wash out at all. Mate, you're in the wrong lane. Properly wrong lane. Um, yeah, it didn't take too long to wash out because it is seven. Oh, it's gone up a degree. It was six degrees. It's now seven degrees. T-shirt weather, weather, welly. T-shirt weather, shorts weather. That is yes. But we are just getting on the four two one, and let's head to my first pickup. Oh, I was going to say. Because uh, obviously I'm being overtaken, but flash him in if he says thank you. But he's going to stay out there to overtake the lorry in front. So that failed miserably. I was going to see if he was a nice lorry driver and said thank you after us flash him in. But I think he's going to stay out there. Oh, there you go. I said thank you. <laughs> Are you ready for another one? I'm just going to let it off a bit so he gets past a bit quicker. Ready? Flash, flash. Flash, flash. <laughs> flash, flash. No, he's a, he's a bore, he's not very nice lorry driver. <laughs> Poo you! Poo you! This uh, one-way system can be quite tight in our Arctic. Um, yeah, you, you, it's not seven half ton. It's actually, uh, it's actually one of the routes for the lorries for to go to Bruntingthorpe Airfield. So yeah, there we go. But because I'm in a big van, literally, uh, this is like a go kart, and I can zoom in and out of cars. Ta da! Nearly there. I'll be there in about 20 minutes, I should think. Something like that. Probably not even that, I'm not gonna lie. Points mean prizes, yeah? Oh, pedal, 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 pedal. I'm not gonna go round you on a blind corner, am I? Last time I met some cyclists, um, they all gave me the wanker sign. I thought that was very rude of said cyclists. I can see the van, but I'm not blind. 
I guess I can see said car as well. And I can see there's nothing coming around the corner because I am higher than you and I can see over hedges. But I mean, at least the cyclist was being nice and telling me not to go past him. But I felt it was very rude because he said I was blind. Anyway, nearly at my farm. I've just thought, this is my farm and I don't know the gate code because it's with my gate code stash in my lorry. So, oh, hello mate. Oh, there's loads So I'm, hopefully they'll see that I have arrived and they'll open the gate for me. Because I can't remember, I said gate codes. I don't know. Uh, bit of guessing, guesswork if you don't open the gate. So um, I text her to, um, to say I forgot the code because it's in my other lorry. So she rang the gate for me. <laughs> Thank you. But how much easier is this going to be, right? Hang on. Look at this! I don't have to worry about, hello, um, about where my trailer is or anything. This is going to be so easy. Look! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Look how easy this is! Ah! It's all right driving a big van, isn't it? Can't actually see anything out my mirrors though. I think I can, I think I fit under the shed anyway. Hi. Let's go forward and then. Then straight back. Yeah. Is that nice rock salt? Oh, happy. Good rock salt. Hello. Yummy. You happy, Moose? Yeah. Right. Back we go. Need to get as close to that post as I possibly can without actually hitting it, even though I can't really see because my mirror is that dirty. Can't really see her either. Where's she gone? There she is. There we go. wouldn't go up the ramp which is the one that's on its own because I need to mix some uh, I've just picked up six there and I can't get six in a section so because they're bigger than the last ones I took this morning um, so I've done a five and a one the one do you think it will go up the ramp no no it would not so we had to um, put some gates up and barricade it in so the only way was up 
Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are now off to my next farm. That was a tree. Um, so I'm just coming up here to my next farm. Um, so this is the farm where he normally brings them to the grain store uh, because I can't get up here with an arctic. I can't get in his farm with an arctic. Thank you. Um, because I have to back in off the road um, and I can't do that with an arctic uh, in his gateway. Um, but it is just up here somewhere. I am early. I'm 20 minutes early. I thought I'd be late because um, that one, but I was early to the, this, the, the last farm. Hey, no, not this one. That one. <laughs> Don't know why, always put my window down. Always put my window down. Do you think I can do it without moving that bin? Because uh, I can't be bothered to move said bin. I don't think I'll be able to do it without moving said bin. I'm not going to do that without moving said bin. Let's move said bin. Put said bin on the grass. There we go. Good job this road isn't busy. Let's hang out the window like we... Oh, I'm not in an Arctic. Also, the tree is really low. I wouldn't get my lorry underneath said tree. That's in. There we go. We're in. Now I've got to reverse all the way down. But the, the gate's closed. Okay, let's put the that get an anchor down. I put my wheel back down because I can lift my back axle. Uh, I can't lift it when it's fully loaded. I can lift it because I've only got six on. Reverse back. I don't know if they're here actually. Oh yeah, I can see great light. I can see brake lights in my mirror. That's how we know someone's down there. Becky, concentrate because you're close to the fence. We don't want to hear it, it, the fence. Can't go much further because the gate's closed. I don't think you'll be able to see, but I'm trying. Oh, I'm back and back, obviously again. But I need to go to the side where he's standing of, it, uh, of that building there. I don't know where I'm going to be. There's trailers this side of me. Yeah. This is why we can't bring an Arctic down here. This is when Trucking UK say, guys, guys, this is too tight, guys, lorry should come down here, guys. I can't actually turn the lorry yet. Uh, uh, hang on. Alright, there we go. There we go, that'll do. Yeah, so there was a <laughs>
Right, so we managed that slalom. But we're just about to come out of the village and I'll just jump on the A14 and we will head towards Peterborough and then Spalding. Let's go. So I'm just pulling in Spalding and there's no intercom anymore. So I just have to press the button. And they let me in because they can see I'm a rest of lorry. But I do need money to wash out. So I have to spend, I spend my money on washes. I don't have any cash, it's all on washes. And it's really depressing. It really is depressing. Right, I'm gonna go and get some money. So all I had on me was 20 pound notes, so I got a bag of 20 pounds. Not that I'm going to use £20 on the, the little lorry, but for obvious reasons I can't film on my head. Um, ob obviously. Um, not that you can see anything. Hello. Um, but yeah, there's no one on the dock, which is really handy. I need a wee, which isn't so handy. And um, he's parked in the middle. Why is he parked in the middle of the yard? Well, I'm going to back on the dock because I can and because we're only in Icklebrum so this is pipsqueak so as I have to wait for the wash uh, I've decided I might as well have a break so I've written my time down this 148 so yeah let's wait and I need a wee which isn't good so I've had my break and obviously I've moved because the scenery outside the window has changed. Um, I've backed on the wash and now I'm going to go to wash out and have a wee. Because I need a wee still. So I've just finished washing out and I'm heading home. Um, that was quite an easy day. It's three o'clock and I'm heading home. It'll take me about an hour and a half to get home. Um, so yeah, nice, nice little day. And it was a lot easier to wash out the little lorry because it's only got three sections. I'm so used to washing the decker out here that it's like takes like 17 quid. This was bargain. So with uh, a paper taco, right, um, you have to keep it on you for 28 days and then it has to go in the office uh, for like five years, three years, five years, oh, I can't remember could keep them for a while um this is what it looks like right so all the squiggly lines and everything so obviously the lines that go up and down and whatever is my speed um and then you can see when i'm on the limiter because it's just a long straight line like this um at the top i don't know if you can see there you go and then when the lines are at the bottom that's when i'm on my break or other work um but yeah these have to stay with me for 28 days in my bag so if i'm in this just in case i get pulled at least i can still show them my paper tacos um and then obviously when the 28 days are up i have to put them in a folder at home um just in case they come and do a spot check um then all my tacos are at home so yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time